Hi YouTube, this is Randomer379 and this is a tips and overview video for Austria for the Napoleon Turtle War and this will be similar to the one I just posted for Russia except it'll be about Austria. What a surprise. And yeah, so you can see Austria starts out here quite close to the French advancing and these are all French um, protectorates or allies and they also have the Ottomans attacking them not attacking them yet, but they will attack them eventually. And the Prussians are also up north, but they should be friendly. But they can attack, but they probably won't. Yeah, so that's his starting position, and you also have quite a few armies in the field already, so that's also good. And yeah, Vienna starts quite developed, but most of the other cities are quite underdeveloped. Like, they don't even have basic roads. And that is one good thing to build at the beginning of the game, basic road. And that just helps your income for generally. Faster. And poverty control laws is what I'm going to research because the mission that you're given at the beginning of the game is that if you research this, you get 2,000 money, whatever the money is, whatever the currency. I'm not sure there is, even is a currency. Yeah, and you can see this will be helpful anyway because the lower classes are already upset. So the first thing that I would do when I play is I would go and invade Saxony. And the reason I say this, which you'll soon see, is that they currently have no allies. Which means that if I attack them, that um, before Prussia allies with them, it will be so much easier because eventually Prussia will ally with them and then I'll have to fight Prussia if I attack them and it'll be really complicated. Get the idea. And also I take Bavaria on the first turn. And this isn't actually Campaign Chronicles, if you hadn't noticed yet. This is just showing you what to do at the beginning. And yeah, and I keep that army there. Bring an army down from Vienna to help it. And yeah, assassins are really helpful right now. Like, they seem to be quite overpowered. They're probably underpowered in patches. See, I already just assassinated their main general. And yeah, now I have just those four units and it'll be easy to beat them, but then Milan will have a few troops. But use your assassins to the full extent, like, it's so easy. And there's someone just talking to me. Um. Yeah, and for the Ottomans, you can basically take them like near the beginning of the game, and you don't really need a big movie, oh, sorry, not movie, army for that. You can just take all these troops, probably recruit a general, maybe recruit one unit of cavalry in these both of these two cities, and then, yeah, just go and take Belgrade, and they'll have quite a big army, or well, they shouldn't move away. And if they don't, you can still defeat them because they're just Ottomans. And yeah, so just and for buildings, just keep on building whatever you can. Just try and build things to give you um, income, good income, because your income will be quite bad playing as Austria because they don't start with many things being developed. And you also have a lot of uh, you need a lot of armies to fight, and this should help you finish the game quite quickly. And yeah, so now I'm going to go and show you um, the results of one of my campaigns, which I played on very hard, very hard difficulty. Yeah, so here you can see one of the results of one of my campaigns for Austria, and I played this on very hard, very hard difficulty. And yeah, you can see all over here I took the Ottomans, and I actually took all the Ottomans with just one army, one small army. This was the army that I used to take the Ottomans, and this is basically, I think I trained, yeah, it's basically it's nearly the same as what you start out with, except a general, two cavalry, and I trained a few more infantry, but they're the same troops, basically, plus a few more, but still, you don't need very many, and that took the whole Ottomans, and that gave me good income as well. <clears throat> Yeah, so, I don't think I showed you this before, but this is the objectives. You have to take Silesia, Saxony, 
Flanders, um, Milan, and the Balkans. And you also have to take this province here, which is Russian. And I always like to, when playing as a coalition, I always declare war at the end of my campaigns because um, on the other members of the coalition, because there is a chance that they will come and attack you and there will be all sorts of problems. So here is the victory screen, dodgy as per usual. I'll let two fireworks go off. Yep, that's it. Can't let any more. Too much dodginess. Victory campaign one. Makes you feel so good about yourself. I am a complete nerd. That's what I think when I finish that. Anyway, yeah, so I took Hanover. Oh, I forgot to say, um, Hessen declared war on me. And so, after I defeated um, Saxony, which I showed before, I went and took Hessen and then took Hanover from the French. And then I traded Hanover to Silesia, so I didn't actually have to declare war on Prussia, I'm still friendly with them. And yeah, and then I just moved slowly into France. I took Marseille just recently, like just this turn. And I also just took Brussels this turn. And the French had lots of these armies, but I just keep on assassinating their generals and then they get upset and don't move and start crying about it. But no, they still attack, but I can easily build up another one in all these cities. Munich, Venice, Vienna, Prague, and Milan, they all recruit, and Budapest, they all recruit lots of units, so that'll be lots of easy. Lot, lots of easy. Me speak good English. Yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Hope it's helped you finish your campaign for Austria faster. And yeah, stay tuned for the rest of my tips and campaigns overview videos for Napoleon Total War. Thanks for watching.